guys, happy Sunday. I am just about to go to work. Um, I've got a really busy couple of days, so I will try and keep you in the loop as much as I can. I've got work now, and then this evening I've got date night with Mike because it's been so long. <laughs> I haven't seen him for a week, and then when I saw him it was for a couple of hours uh, for my mum's birthday, so it's been like two weeks since I've seen him properly, so I'm really looking forward to um, to that tonight. Not 100% sure what we're doing yet, but it'll be nice just to see him. Um, then tomorrow I'm doing like 500 million things and I'm not sure how I'm going to fit them all in, but I will. Tuesday I've got work again, um, and then the rest of the week I can do some cool stuff that I've been wanting to do. <laughs> <laughs> like finish tidying my room um, but I better go and I will see you guys later so the first part of work was terrifyingly not good um, I had to sit in the 4DX screen while Annabelle was on I do not like scary films anyway um, and I tried my hardest not to watch it, but just the sound was so awful. Um, so with POTS, I also react really badly to adrenaline and I didn't realize how badly a scary film would affect me, but I was absolutely sweating buckets, feeling nauseous, feeling shaky. I, I was in tears, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it was not fun <laughs> and I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Mike and I went out for a nice dinner at Gourmet Burger Kitchen, um, completely vegan, completely gluten free, so good, like you'd never think a burger place of all places would do um, gluten free vegan stuff, but it's so nice, so I have the Dippy Hippie um, but I have it without the gluten-free bun, but I have it with um, corn and slaw and um, all the all the sidey bits. So it comes with like a avocado smash and then a, a beetroot and mint hummus. It's really nice. It's really, really good. I just heard like a noise. <laughs> I'm actually really terrified now I'm on my own. <laughs> Stupid scary films. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to go to sleep on my own tonight. <laughs> Am I just being a wimp? I'm genuinely a bit scared. <laughs> Put yourself together. It was just a movie, however scary it was. <laughs> Help. Hey guys, so I'm off to do some dog walking this morning and then I have a very secret new job. Essentially, I'm a spy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite as good as that, but it's still pretty top secret. <laughs> um, so I'm doing that and then I've got some ladies to sign up to my Avon team, which is going to be awesome. And then I'm going to lie down on the sofa and read because I will be absolutely exhausted by then. <laughs> I'm in so much pain right now. <laughs> um, I've had a pretty okay day and I really thought I'd got away with it till about six o'clock-ish and then my neck and my head are just... <sighs> wow. Um, it's all in my neck and head and so I can't even describe it it's just so painful I've got the heat on it thinking it's my shoulders and my neck but I don't know if that's going to help and it's making me feel hot and I feel really sick from the pain and I've taken some pain healers because I've had to but At this point, I really, really want something stronger. <sighs> I 
hopefully lying down for a bit will help and maybe I'll get off to sleep but I'm not holding my hopes out because this is pretty bad guys um, and I've got work in the morning so I really hope it goes I don't think this heat is making it better I think it's making it worse I'm just not feeling good at all I just feel so sick and now I've really really bloated and it's really painful that no, my stomach should not be my head's feeling a little bit bad but I just feel sick and horrible and Happy Tuesday, um, I'm feeling a lot lot better than I was last night, still got the residual background feeling but I'm just so glad to not feel sick anymore, remembering a time when I literally needed to throw up all day every day was horrible 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 and I don't know how you guys do it, um, I'm off to work if you hadn't a guest, um, and then coming home and chilling. This is a really adventurous week, guys. I promise you, later in the week, things start to get exciting. Well, this afternoon has been a little bit adventurous. Um, we went to Costco just to, for something to do and to get a couple of bits. And we're just coming over to Lakeside because Mike needed to um, grab some bits from Primark. And somewhere between the petrol garage and parking here, he has lost his bag with his wallet and everything in. So he thinks what's happened is that he left it on top of the boot and it's flown off, but he's gone back and he can't find it. So now I'm sitting on the floor outside Lakeside waiting for him to return so he can call and cancel his cards. <sighs> we just shouldn't leave the house. <laughs> so unfortunately, the wallet and the bag are gone. But Oh well, he's cancelled all his cards and none of it really mattered that much. Um, there wasn't really anything in it, so. <sighs> but we spent ages and ages walking around the roads trying to find it, going into all the nearby shops and hotels and everywhere and nothing. But oh well. But um, <laughs> his first thought, well, his first thought after he'd gotten over being angry with himself was um, was you're gonna have to treat yourself to your own zebra at the zoo <laughs> bless him because we're going to the zoo on Thursday um, and last time we went to the zoo he bought me a zebra because um, you know EDS and zebras but yeah I'm gonna have to buy my own zebra on Thursday <laughs> Oh well. I did, however, get some cool stuff in Costco. So, firstly, I got these, which look amazing. Um, they are, um, they're chickpea and red pepper tortilla chips. They're all gluten free, everything. Like, I bet they are gonna taste really good um so i got these which are my absolute favorite they are um golden berries which i'd never heard of before going to costco um covered in um cacao so it's like got coconut sugar and oh they are just my favorite little treat they're kind of like kind of like chocolate raisins but obviously much healthier chocolate um, without any refined sugar or anything and then um, yeah these golden berries are just like a dried fruit but they're so nice um, the final thing I got I've got to open the box are these um, I've never had sketches before and my mum loves them and these were very reasonably priced so I decided to get myself some and I put my foot in them and they are the most comfortable thing ever 
Um, I was going to get the black ones, but they didn't have any in my size, so I went for the grey ones. But having flat, comfortable shoes that I can just walk around in that aren't big, heavy lace-up trainers, amazing! So I'm very happy with my purchases today, even if the day has not gone quite how we hoped. Um, but yeah, awesome. Um, tomorrow, I finally have a complete day off. I know, unheard of. Um, so, I'm just doing loads and bits and bobs really, but I'll see you then. Another day, another bad migraine, another tummy looking like this. We are going to the zoo! You'll be excited. Yay! <laughs> There's lots of hills in this place. <laughs> I'm holding on very tightly. <laughs> We're trying to find the targets. <laughs> He's gonna let me go. <laughs> I think we're going in the right direction. I'm the map reader, but I'm not very good. There is a big yellow line on the floor there. Yeah. As we come under the boardwalk here, if you just look up to your right hand side, you might get a glimpse of one of our bins around. Happily known as How are you enjoying the zoo? Yeah, good. We've had a lot of fun, but I'm in a lot of pain, and Mike's exhausted from pushing me up and around and through all this very, very hilly zoo. So we are heading to the gift shop and going to head home, I think. But it's been a beautiful sunny day and we've seen lots of cool animals and it's been really nice. Another sensational bloat. Anything I eat at the moment seems to be doing it. Um, we just went out for dinner. We just got back. But look, 
Mike did get me a zebra at the zoo. <laughs> um, he's a little magnetic one, which is cute. He's called Ziggy. I like it. <laughs> um, we're going to relax for the rest of the evening. I'm bloated, I've got a headache. I just want to go to bed. <laughs> you absolutely just love a mystery bruise. I've woken up with a massive one on my shin. Well, not massive, but a pretty good bruise on my shin. And considering I was in a wheelchair all day yesterday, absolutely no idea how I did it. <laughs> That's one of the really funny things about EDS, just waking up absolutely covered in bruises and with no idea where they came from. <laughs> I told you it was a pretty good bruise. It really hurts too. Weird. It's Friday and I am just off to do a bit of dog walking. It's going to be a pretty chill day, but definitely looking forward to getting out in the beautiful sunshine. Um, I've taken all my meds today. I forgot to tell you yesterday, I was um, not in the good books because I forgot to take my bisoprolol. So that meant there was absolutely no chance of me standing up at all yesterday, really. <laughs> So, um, even when I just like got on and got off the little train, I was completely, completely out of breath um, because I forgot to take it. So, um, that's the first time I've ever forgotten to take my Bazopolo in the morning. Um, and I don't quite know why I forgot. I think I took my Midogene and then fell back to sleep. So, I just missed it. But, um, but yeah, so today I'm all good for standing situations. I also forgot to show you yesterday that I had a bit of a mishap in my bag in which um, some of the contents of my water bottle went all over my handbag. Luckily, apart from the odd paper bits that could just go in the bin anyway, everything like my camera and my phone was fine. But I went to get my little salt pot out at dinner and all the salt had just disappeared. <laughs> well not disappeared, it had gone all funny and it was my really nice smoked Malden salt and I'm really gutted. <laughs> oh well. It is such a beautiful day here at the park. Um, Molly had a great time with another little cockapoo so she's sitting over there somewhere. <laughs> she's worn out, I threw the ball to her, she's not brought it back. She's Tonight was really nice. Um, we went out with one of Mike's friends and his other half, and we went down to South End and just went to the pub and had a drink, and then went along to the arcades. Um, girls beat the boys at the crazy air hockey with the thousand little pucks. Um, we played the little piano game and the basketball game. Mike had a go on this fun, um, like simulated driving game and played on the 2P machines, um, won this rather fetching Minion snap band, oh yes, in my favourite colour, of course. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we had a really nice evening and it was really nice just to go out for a change and see people for a change. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think my... I'm doing the anxiety pack on Headspace at the moment because I do tend to get a lot of trouble with it and especially with going back to uni and things I've been worrying a lot um, so the fact that I went out and met people I'd never met before and you know I didn't worry like it was really good so it must be working um, but also the craziest thing, so Mike's friend's other half went to UEA of all places, was in the same school as me, um, at the same time as me, like what a small world. So it was great to talk about all things UEA and just say the words like Livewire and LCR and have someone know what you mean. 
um because you guys aren't gonna know what that means <laughs> um but yeah it was really great so but it's quite late now and i do have work tomorrow so i am going to get some sleep so i'm ending this vlog how i started it with heading off to work um it's been a really good week despite the migraines and the bloating and the pelts flares and everything uh, the zoo was really good, even though it wasn't quite as accessible as we had hoped. And yeah. But today, but now it is time to go to work and hopefully there's not a scary film in the 4DX. <laughs> um, so if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. Um, check out all my other social media down in the description. I would love to see you on all my other platforms. But for now, I will see you later. Loads of spoons and love to you all. See ya.